this morning and just I was asking God to like let me forgive those people and just bring like peace um with them just bring peace with those people that like that really wasn't like loyal to me or front like they was loyal to me or us like I really just like want to move on basically or whatever but I do want to thank you guys for y'all supporting everything. I think y'all, like, the ones that be engage engaging with us, y'all, like, really, like, hold a special place in my heart because at first, we wasn't, like, any, any kind of engagement. Like, we would say, like, we would ask certain questions in videos and stuff like that, and, like, people still would engage with us. So, the ones that engage with us now... We really appreciate it. Like, all I, like, I was growing up and still, people think because the mug that I have on my face, it's just like, it's like they make it to be like, I'm the meanest person in the world and they won't say anything to me or they would just be like, oh, she mean, I'm not going to talk to her or whatever. But like, I just want to let y'all know, like, we are some of the realest, most nicest people y'all can meet. And... Y'all can ask us anything. Y'all can talk to us about anything. And we're not going to be rude or anything. But, like, if you do come at us, like, disrespectful. Disrespectful. But we will, like, put y'all in y'all place or whatever. But other than that, like, we don't come off as rude people. We respect everybody and everything. So, yeah, that's just, I'm kind of rambling now. But that's just something I have to get off my chest because... 
certain things just really been bothering me and I just been asking God to like remove those things remove people out of my life that's not meant to be there but yeah you know to add on to that even though I'm not in the camera I know you guys can hear me I want you guys to know how truly grateful we are for you guys continuous support like um I know everybody's not going to agree to our lifestyle I know everybody is not going to agree with how we live but I truly 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 want to say thank y'all for never getting on here and bashing us trying to degrade us telling us we need to seek God we need to repent we need to do this we need to do that because one thing about me I worship a, a, a heavenly great God like understand us that we are very spiritual people yeah like I we every morning we wake up we pray you will catch us in the middle of the day sometimes but we'll just be praying like I want you guys to understand that th this is not a choice because if it was a choice I promise you it wouldn't be our kind on this planet because we won't we do you think that we 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 want to wake up and and deal with hateful comments every day like that's that's I don't think that that'll ever be something that I get used to I've learned to just look past it but I still don't get used to it because I'm like I'm just living my life I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing what makes my life happy like I'm, I'm very happy but know that I know God and I know he's a mighty God and I, and I know with him all things is possible with him that's the reason why I'm able to get up every day and, and run the highway 600 plus miles a day this is why I, we are doing what we love to do which is content and we're, we're steady, steady growing from it that's why we're able to accomplish so much so just know that we, we know God we worship a mighty God but this is just us and I really want to thank y'all for not coming on here trying to degrade us or anything y'all show us the most genuine support we have ever ever gotten while doing social media like, like i say this if you're new here we have been doing youtube since 2018 for six years we have been doing youtube and this is the first time that we have genuinely got continuous support continuous love y'all speak so highly to us and y'all don't understand how much that makes our day and like she said this election showed us who really care you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day bro it's not about how you live it's about what's right yeah and it's certain things i don't agree with but it's about human rights you know what i'm saying and it it, it showed us a lot but i just want to uh, i feel like i'm rambling now mm -hmm. i just want to say thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all for the support bro we love y'all so 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 much and we appreciate the continuous support, the continuous kind words, the motivation, everything that y'all give give us on these videos every time we drop it. So just know that y'all support never go unnoticed. We we love y'all. Like when I say we love y'all, I, I meant that. It, it's not like these other creators. Like I'm not saying creators be lying, but a lot of them be like, oh, we love y'all because y'all y'all making them six figures by watching. We don't get paid for this right now. I mean, it's getting close to it, very close. So we don't get paid for this right now. We do this because we love. We do it because we love interacting with y'all. We do this because we love entertaining people. So no one and, meeting new people. and and definitely and meeting new people. So so when we say that we're truly grateful for y'all, we truly love y'all. Know that we we mean it from the bottom, the bottom of our heart for real. I'm coming back to the camera soon, y'all. Just um, my mental has gotten better. I have gotten better. I'm not in such a dark space. 
you know i'm not i'm not fully ready to come back to the camera yet but no it's nothing like it was when i i told y'all how how dark dark i i dark of a place i have been so just know i'm coming back soon but thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all and thank y'all for the kind words on that when i told y'all how bad of it in the dark place i was and there's one more topic i want to speak on um I want to speak on because I know I have family members. We have um, like some, I ain't even gonna say some friends because it's only one person that done did it. But I don't like how people will come up and say, Oh, you done, you done got big, like you need to get off that road, or dang girl, you done gained some weight, or whatever. We, we wake up every day. We know our size. We know we have fat stomachs. We know we have puffy faces. We actually know how much we weigh, okay? If y'all will go back on down the line, and I can say not videos, but shorts, YouTube shorts, and y'all will see we was on a weight loss journey. I'm talking about working out every day. Sometimes two times a day. She was, I, I still wasn't working. I haven't worked since 2022, but that's how I would start my day. I would take her to work and then go work out or whatever. After she gets off, I do me another workout with her because she got to get her workout in. But if you go down our timeline and we have multiple videos of where we was on our weight loss journey. And we was on it. I know I lost, I think, 80 pounds. If not 80 pounds, it's close to 80 pounds. Babe, how much did you lose? Um... I did lose 80. You lost 80? Okay, mm -hmm. I think we was nicking it with, when it came to our weight loss journey or whatever. Also, while she was losing weight, she was very, very sick. She was going through a friendship part break, and she was waking up, like, basically growing up every morning. And that's where some of her weight loss came from. But we have videos of, like I said, we have videos of us working out every day, sometimes twice a day, on our weight loss journey. We went through a horrible horrible downfall um it was like october i think september october um and then we had a car wreck in november so that put us even more down we started gaining a little weight then because um let me backtrack i had got injured from working out i was pushing myself um, so much I had even passed out in the shower and I had to get rushed to the hospital or whatever but let's um let's move forward we um went through a hard time we had a car wreck and that's where some of our weight had came from we started back gaining weight or whatever we got on the road we was thinking we had gained so much weight and we look at videos, old videos and old pictures of when we was with US Express and we realized we really didn't gain much weight. We probably gained like 10 to 20 pounds, if that. But we were still lost, you know what I'm saying? We were still down and weight just kept, we just kept gaining weight or whatever. And that's what happened when you are in like a depression. Um, that's what happens when you just basically lost like you don't even know you lost you know what I'm saying if you've been through depression you understand what I'm saying but now we get it under control I think both of us done lost probably like around maybe five to ten pounds we about to get back in the gym and everything but my whole point of just explaining this is because People love to comment on our videos or people that we know love to walk up to us telling us how much weight we done gain. Like, what makes you think a person want to hear that? You never know what a person is going through for them to gain that weight. We want people to understand y'all automatically assume it's because we're on the road. Yeah. Or what do do this, what do do that. Like she said, you don't know what nobody is going through mentally or, or physically or anything for the reason why they didn't gain weight. So, stop putting your input on things. Because one thing for sure and two things for certain. I'm going to let baby get back to talking. I'm just going to say this one thing. When I lose my weight again, I do not want nobody coming up to me saying how good I look. 
girl, you look good with through this with the woo that because I still looked good when I had my weight on me. Only thing is, I got, I got more of a puffy baby face, and I got I got some belly. Understand that being skinny don't make you make you beautiful, and being fat don't make you ugly. Because I know some ugly skinny, b and I know some beautiful fat b. And I'ma put it like that. There you go, babe. Yeah, like when people do that, they just I just be want to ask them what give you the like what give you the nerve of. Or what give you the motive to like say that to somebody or ask it, you know? But just know, can't nobody tell me that I'm not it. Can't nobody tell me that I need to be doing this when I'm already doing it. One thing, a person that cannot tell me that that I'm ugly, I know that. Can't nobody turn and I'm not even talking about looks. I'm talking about like when it comes to personality, um, when it comes to um attitude, all that because I'm I'm not that. But just know we wake up every day. I'm looking at myself in the mirror now. I know what I look like. I know it's some things that I, I could work on. Not saying I need to work on. Because being fat is not a bad thing. That's one thing I can say. Now, if you just, I don't want to talk about this, but if you just, because you have those people, being just because you fat don't mean you unhealthy. But when the people that, that have those, um, I can say diabetes is one. Diabetes, high blood pressure, that means you need to work on something. But by you just being fat, you can be fat and healthy. Everybody's not meant to be the same size. So, that's just like a, another topic I just wanted to touch on because people love doing it. Y'all, we done getting loaded and everything. We was having problems with sliding the tandems and we, we tried everything in the book. She called her dad and then she called her uh, roadside assistant and he said put a, like a chalk behind the um behind like a wheel or whatever so that's what got it to go and like when i say both pins like all the pins was pushed in and they still won't slide it's like we had both brakes pushed in but all this done we're gonna go you got anything you want to say yes can y'all just admire how beautiful my baby is Aww. it's just one beautiful black queen do you hear me I am so thankful and grateful that that is all I'm mine. I'm not out here having to worry about nothing. I'm not out here worried about no phone. I'm not out here worried about if I'm looking stupid. Like, damn, I'm blessed. I mean, right now without her lashes, she looks 17 years old. Oh my gosh. But she is, she is so beautiful. Can we just admire how beautiful and how chocolate she is? Hey, how you doing? Random nose just be calling me like when I say hey how you doing y'all wanna say nothing. You're so beautiful. Thanks, boo. Can we go? What? Can we go after you're done admiring how beautiful I am? Can we you love me? Love you. Baby. We can go, y'all. Oh my gosh. So y'all we decided to stop in Horse Cave, Kentucky for the night. Gonna get us a shower in and get us some rest because what time we gotta wake up? Like 2.30. In the morning? Yeah. Oh, yo. Definitely got to get some rest. Get the worst thing because I want to um, get up early Saturday and go on and drop it off at the Walmart. Then we'll probably go back to the love and lay down until they send me a load. So, it's an open window from midnight Saturday to midnight so like to, to gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, y'all. Yeah. Only like a uh, Crip Frost girl, though. That's what he looked like he could be. <laughs> but yeah. I'm saying you're going to be an
forgot they got the small bathrooms. It's a small bathroom. Customer 17. Your shower is ready. Please proceed to shower three. This one is high. Cowboy Carter. Time to strike a match and light up this juke joint. She got that water. King man got that water. Don't act like you don't know. Giddy up, giddy up. Don't pay me and go. Giddy up, giddy up. Back outside. I'm on the road. Giddy up, giddy up. When the sun goes down, giddy up, giddy up. Now, we were supposed to be up, like, we were supposed to be up around 4, 4 30, pulling off probably like around 5. We um, stayed at the Lowe's, like, right down the road. It's literally, like, probably like two to three miles down the road. But, like, we were supposed to be up so freaking early. It is now 9 15. We got to drop this off. Then she already have a pre plan. When it's like rainy and cloudy in Arkansas, this real end like we really get like good 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 sleep because we already get good sleep in arkansas because i feel like we get good sleep in arkansas because of like the nature and everything but like it, it was raining this morning it's cloudy i said just imagine us at home and it's like this i would literally still be in the bed and it's saturday too so yeah but we just gotta drop this off and then we go ahead to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. That's where she gotta pick up it next. I think at a Tyson. So yeah. Mm -mm. You talking to them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I was telling them like we were supposed to bend up. Man, listen, y'all. Y'all don't know. I'm from Arkansas. She from Louisiana. But we stay in Arkansas. And we get the best sleep in Arkansas. Like it don't matter if it's a rest area or a truck stop. Like the sleep be amazing. And then it don't make. And then it, when it's raining, oh my god. Yeah, I was supposed to be up at four. I was supposed to be in Pine Bluff by now. It's not so. I ain't, I ain't leave there till like nine o'clock. <laughs> For real. <laughs> like, oof. I'm just. I told you, like, just imagine us at home. We would still be in the bed for real. Man. Like, no lies, bro. You got a spot. I have park it over here. I'm just glad you ain't got to get unloaded. You ain't got to get loaded. You ain't got to get unloaded. Man. Drop the hook for this and drop the hook up.
might just pull it out right there. Oh, I was for the say, Lord, that ain't fine. Why the fuck would you say that? You can do it first, I'ma do it worse. Gotta double the payback. Never take it personal, show no mercy. I taught me that way back. Cut off, took it off. I was always talking on pay hoes when you stay at. Keep a stash house, you can't take nothing to the spot where you lay at. Never be a bother if you want me no problem. Just say that. Never run that off, so if I owe you, I got to, I pay that. Get this shit my heart, so when I'm old, I can chill and just lay back. Really from the bottom, so the changes is what I'm just saying. I'm just trying to buy the list.